it's not Eileen Weiss's normal commute. You know, life is beautiful, but it's also messy and complicated and confusing. How are you? But since schools closed, nothing has been normal. I've had a heavy heart for several weeks that she's missing out, but um, there's a silver lining to everything, and we're we're just going to make the best of it. There's a lot of bigger problems in this world. Good, I've come for Rachel. Hello, Rachel. Thank you. Happy 20 days to graduation. Thank you. And when it comes to the small stuff, Vice, the principal at Cardinal O'Hara is doing what she can. Reimagining everything takes right. so much time and so much, so many details and so many people are involved. So, but you know, we're gonna make it as, we appreciate the as nice as we can. Make it as Since the students can't be in school to get their caps and gowns, Vice and her staff are making house calls. We're having it more, like it helps. Like, I don't know, I think that we're having it, no we're not. Yeah, it just makes it feel more real. The students will walk across the stage, though not together. The parents will celebrate, though not with the class. Happy 20 days. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, can I give you a hug? No. Oh. <laughs> and while the students will be leaving, those left behind say the absence will be hard to miss. We love these kids. They've been with us for four years, and to not be able to physically celebrate with them is, is heartbreaking, and there's, there's no way around that. We're hoping that we'll get the chance to, to all be together sometime before they all go off to college, but if we can't, then we're trying to do the next best thing. And while it's not the in-person celebration they'd all dreamed of. We're grateful to everything O'Hara has done. Vice says what the class of 2020 has learned now could never have been taught in a classroom. They've all had to figure out new ways to communicate with each other, new tools for their actual learning, and new tools for graduations. And they're going to be so prepared for the next life crisis that comes their way. I'm so happy that we have yes. it. They have skills. They've nurtured skills in them now through this experience that they will carry with them forever. Deanna Durante, NBC10 News.